This week on Clubhouse Games. Hey, I don't like your face. I don't like your face. Your face is dumb. Your face is stupid. Your face is dumb and stupid. <laughs> you know what? What? Fuck you. Fuck you too. I'm taking you to war. I'm taking you to war. Bring it on. Anyway, we're playing war today. Oop, not that one. Single Maybe. system. Can we have someone else do this and make us a proxy war? <laughs> Hey, you two in the audience. Yeah, you. <laughs> Come play this proxy war with us. Oh, okay. Alright, so uh, I had no idea that these were also single system. Oh. I guess it's just that not every card game needed a secondary switch, but it's fine. Well, it's fine. it's it's because we were so used to there being just this entire wall of yeah, games exactly. that play on Switch. So. Uh, but here we go. War. A classic. I hate this thing. Can I go back to my own Switch? Nope. Ah. Too late. I don't, don't, don't want to be P2, I so want to be Tullin! Chooses a card to play? Chooses a card to play. Whoever's card Wait, higher wins this the is different from the usual war I've played. Not really. Well, kind of. Uh, okay, never mind. Sorry, I was, I was thinking of a different game. So they only go three cards at a time, huh? JK. I wonder what they do in a... in a draw. Okay. What they do in a draw, I think, uh, I, I remember growing up, because the last time I played four was like back in daycare in fourth grade. Exactly, it's one, two, three, and then the last card. I, th I, I think when you when you draw a card and it's a tie, you then draw another card on top of that, and whoever wins that round takes all the cards on that. Correct. That'd be my guess. See, I've always played it the three card way, where two cards match, and then you place three face down cards, and then the last card you draw up is the one that fights, winner takes all. That's how you win tons of cards. Well, we'll see. Here we go. Yeah, we'll see, huh? We'll see, huh? It's time to get the most cards. Get the most cards? Fight. Well, here, here you go, Mario. Uh, Do here you my go, fighting Mario. for me. Damn it! Yoink! I will take your blooper. Don't take my blooper, dude. Oh, I actually saw the Mario movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It's about gosh dang time. It's, it's... Is it because of Illuminations? What took you so long? Oh, well, just, you know, I, I... Damn it! Actually, yeah, and my problems with it are indeed elimination. Why do they got to play so many pop songs? How many times am I gonna hear Thunderstruck on shit? Okay, can I give you a little factoid about that movie that I now know? Go ahead. So, the Superstar segment. Mm -hmm. Really uh, cool. Oh, oh, yeah. Great rendition of the star theme. Right, yes. I, I was so worried. It's like, okay, here yeah, we go. Yep. What's going to be? Like? Da, da, da. Da, da. <laughs> bam, so, bam, bam, bam. That scene, I love it to death because of the brand new star theme. It's so well done. The composer had to fight for that. Oh, no. For Van Halen. <laughs> That was the one that was ben that was going to be that instead of <laughs> which one? I've got it, Ben. Got it, Ben. Got it, Ben. I'm hot for teacher. I can't. I I'm, can't remember. I'm hot for peaches. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I can't remember the song, but the fact that he had to fight for that for such an iconic theme, and it also turns out, speaking of music, they had a a theme for Donkey Kong's area, but it was replaced with a pop song. They gave us Take on me, I believe. Yeah, I don't get that Damn at it. all. I don't get that at all. Uh, Why is it take on me? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Yeah, I, think you, I think you won that one. Yep. Ooh, just by one, barely. Well done. Well, well done. It's 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 just, it's just luck. First, yeah. Let's so, just, let's just chat today. How you how how you doing? Huh? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I would love to just talk about the Mario movie because I really like it. Yeah, we'll talk about the Mario movie. We got the Mario cards. You know, that was that was, that was about a war, wasn't was it not? That was also about a war. Sure. <laughs> I guess it was. Uh. Oh, so I've seen the Mario movie twice, uh, once by myself on opening night, and once with uh, the rest of the family who wanted to see it. And it's a lot different seeing it with other people than it is seeing it by yourself. Yeah, I watched it with Violet. And, uh, Vi really hates Bowser's song. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like, it's not that bad. I, <laughs> I mean, I busted up laughing in the theater when that happened. Jesus! Stop killing me! It's war, UDJ! Yeah, right here, Luigi. He's bringing it home for me. Yeah! Oh. What'd you think of Chris Pratt? Uh, after a while, I stopped thinking, you know, oh, hey, this is Chris Pratt, and just thought, yeah, it's, it's all right. My ears eased into it, and yeah. I think they chose Chris Pratt be because of the delivery of the jokes that they wanted to do. Yeah. 
you can really tell that they hired an, an actor who knows how to act oh and God, say yeah. lines and do them. Correct. So, yeah. Not, not, not that Charles Martinet can't. You know, he's, he's a great actor, too. Well, you can tell because I didn't know it's Charles just, Martinet played Mario's dad until the end credits. It's, it's, it's just, uh, you know... Uh, damn, I lost, lost a train of thought. <laughs> play, play, I'm, I'm at war, talking about war. No, it's all right. Uh, but uh, it's it's just that Charles Martin and Mario couldn't carry the movie like that. Not without, like, blowing the I amount of life. I, I don't win. know how you brought that You're back. Like, what the even happened? Yeah. Dick, this whatever. is war! This is war? Were you, were you just blanking? Unprecedented. Oh, I, did, I, did I win? Oh, okay. All right. I still love the stat that somebody did for the Mario movie that uh, there is a reference every, uh, what, what was it? It's like an hour and a half movie, and there are about three references per minute of that film. Hmm. There's a lot of references. Did you catch a bunch of them? I, I, They're all over the place. I caught someone's like, oh, hey, look at that. I love the references to older NES games. Got some Kid Icarus love. We got a lot of Ice Climbers. We got Duck Hunt, Punch Out. It's everywhere. Yeah, it's. I mean, the game is meant for kids. Or, 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 I mean, the game, huh? The the movie is meant for a younger generation. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say so much kids. Nah. All right. So, what's the thing you hated most about the movie? Uh, Come on, it's, for, it's air some of that dirty laundry. What do you hate about it? What do I? Because I got something I hate it. about it. Something I really hate. That's something that annoys me. Something I fucking hated. Uh, I mean, I kind of wish Luigi was in the movie more, but other than that, I came out pretty satisfied. That's not hate. That's not hate. Man. Because I didn't hate it. I, I honestly did not hate anything about that film. That Luma really ruined things. That's an Illumination move. That's a They've done that in almost all their films. Oh, are you kidding? I haven't seen enough. Uh, yeah, that's that's just a thing. The the humor of somebody uh, cutesy and young saying very bad things. You ever think about the death you of the ever think about universe? death? It's just, yeah. Yeah, we, we're, one day we are going to the voice screaming and alone. Actually, you know what? I do have some dirty laundry. What do you got? Give me Rosalina, you cowards. Hey, hey. Sequel. Can't do everything, man. Yeah. No, and for everything they put in there, they didn't, like, oh, stuff it full. Actually, don't give us Rosalina, because if you give us Ro Rosalina, that means that there's going to be Lumas, more of them, which means there's going to be more of those annoying little give things. Give me Rosalina, you cowards. Please. Give me Toadette. I mean... <laughs> uh, did you see the post credit scene? Sequel bait? Oh, I, I, oh, I saw Yoshi. Yeah, that was the sequel bait. Oh, well. So now that we have a firm ground to stand on for the Mario movie, we can add so much more in a sequel. And that's what makes me excited. Because years upon years of Mario lore you can add to it, and characters as well. Hell, you can bring in Daisy, you can bring in Sahasra Land, you can bring in Wario and Waluigi, that'd be kind of funny. I mean, let's make Mario a multimedia empire, you know, Sonic can make movies and made money off of it, we can make movies and make money off of it too, it's easy. Speaking of which, Sonic movie just started filming, that's nice. Hoorah. Yeah, I like that. They wanted to do what Sonic did, they was like, we'll make movies too, and we'll make it good and approachable and fun for everybody, not just kids, and not the lowest common denominator, but, but we need to do it on the cheap, so, Illumination, you guys are up. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> that's... Uh, that movie was gorgeous. They, they have gotten better, Illumination has. Like, oh my god, it's beautiful. <laughs> Doe looks great. That is a gorgeous it looks, it looks film. It looks good. I, I, I'm saying we're in a golden age of, uh, uh -oh. of, of animation oh, right now. damn it. Of, 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 of CGI animation. You see stuff like, you know, Enter the Spider-Verse, which I haven't seen yet. <sighs> I, I know. I've seen bits of it. It's like, well, it sounds, it sounds like it's gonna blow my socks off. I've Holy got crap. things to say. Holy crap. Well, not now. I'm not gonna say a word. <laughs> Oh, let's let's just say it was worth the wait. Okay, well, all right. Fucking beautiful film, dude. I love I love, I love the first oh one. Oh my god! And, and I'll I'll go to bed for Puss in Boots too. I still haven't watched that one. I need to jump on that. Well, what you wagon. just did for that, I'll do for Puss in Boots. I will gladly go full Looney Tunes for Spider Verse. <laughs> <laughs> it was that damn good. <laughs> oh my god! And not just from like an animation angle, like continuing a decent story. Good. As in, here's what you set up. 
here's more of a payoff. And even though it was a part one, a to be continued at the end of that, which was expected, still great. It's a very long film, though. Two and a half hours yeah. of animated goodness. Not saying length is a bad thing for a film, but that's why it took so long. Well, I've uh, had my fire restarted for the Marvel movies, I guess. You know. I got burnt out, I'll yeah. be honest. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> too. Too much Marvel. Yeah, I did too, and then Viola just threw on Captain Marvel and we watched it. And I was like, well, okay, let's go back to watching it. There we go. Then Secret Evasion came out, which is just the kickstart I needed, and now you know, here, here, here we go again. Okay, this might be my ignorance when it comes to everything Marvel. Mm hmm. Uh. I had no idea that was a Marvel property. <laughs> what? Uh, the... Which one did you just mention? See, I can't even remember the name. That's how Se little I knew about Secret it. In Se Secret Invasion? No, oh, sorry, not... Captain Marvel, you mean. I was I was thinking of something else. Okay, never mind. It's a, it's, it's a thing. It's a, the, it's a the, weird thing between Shazam and Captain Marvel. And DC had it, but not Marvel had it. There was it's... a show that came to Disney+, Plus and somebody told me it had to do with Marvel. I was like... It does? Miss Marvel's? No, I knew about that. See, Miss Marvel was the show that burned me out. I hate that little shit, Kamala Khan. <laughs> I, I, could, I couldn't well, finish her series! Well, good luck. She's in the MCU now. She's she's a, she's an awful hero, unless if she gets better at the end of her series. I will say I'm excited to see where they go with the new phase, because Kang the Conqueror is such a fun villain. I, I saw Ant-Man 3 last night, too. I still haven't watched that. So, uh, little thing. Yeah. What is the best MCU movie that they've ever done? Like, there's there, there's a lot of them. They span genres. You can miss some. It's okay. But what do you think is the absolute number one best movie they've ever made? See, that can differ because you thought it was Ant-Man 2, and I hated that film. It still is to me. No, it's, it's still Ant-Man 2. I, I, could t I could sing praise after praise of that movie. And I loved Ant-Man 3, too. Ant-Man 3 was great. Uh, for me, it was... It was Infinity War. I think that is my personal favorite. Even though it ends on a dour ending, it's still very good. Well, hey, well em Empire ended on a dour note, and people say that's better than the original. I can see that. Oh my god! That can happen! How the hell?! I didn't think that could happen, but it can! Don't tell me it's still tight. Okay, well... Let's, I mean... Yeah, let's just keep going. Yeah, right. I, I like talking films with you. Yeah, all right. So, 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 so let's talk movies. What were you getting at? What is your new favorite? Or, or, or was no, that just the, the it's question? Still, it's still Ant-Man 2. Oh, okay, it, okay. It, 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 it wasn't beat. Okay. Because I thought Ant-Man 3 had, I can't believe I'm saying this, a quote-unquote pacing issue. <laughs> what? By that, I mean, uh, there's a there's an A plot where we're following Scott and Cassie, and there's mm -hmm. a B plot where we're following the Van... the, uh, the Van Dynes. You know, well, and, oh, okay, and, okay. And, and, and Pim. I gotcha, I gotcha. And, uh, I felt like it kind of cut back and forth a little bit, you know, too much. You know, it's just like, we're back here. Oh, now we're back here. Oh, we're back here. Just kind of, okay. just kind of break that. A little you know, too that's, much. That's, that's, that's very nitpicky. And it's the good kind of nit of, uh, of pacing problems where there's too much movie to, and it just kind of spills over <laughs> itself, but that's okay. That's, that's fine. And, uh, you know, compared to the bad kind of pacing where you just, you know, uh, want to unalive yourself because it just goes on forever. <laughs> forever. Oh God. Okay, uh, so it's been a while since I've been to the theaters. I've gone to the theaters twice this year. Mm -hmm. First time was for Mario, second time was for Spider-Verse. The movie-going experience, I, I think I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, for the Mario movie, uh, I actually got a, a kick out of it because there was a, a kid was absolutely loving this film. I was like, that's that's what I'm talking <laughs> well, about and, right and there. And that's what the, the movie did its job. It, exactly. Well, I was, love it or hate it, the movie did what it was supposed to do. I was like, there do. we go. That's what I want to see. I want to see kids enjoying this film. It's better than the 93 one. And then I watched Spider-Verse with a, with a theater about half full of people. And those dickheads wouldn't shut up. Uh, <laughs> they kept like crinkling their bag. And it's just uh, like, all right, try to watch Miles Morales don't here. Don't try to eat chips. Fuck you, you chips. F I will fuck my chips. <laughs> I love salt and vinegar. I know you will, you asshole. Stop it, birds. <laughs> <laughs> With a spicy habanero getting all up in there. <laughs> what? <laughs> what an idiot. I let the popcorn peg me. 
<laughs> One kernel at a time. <laughs> I hate that. This, conver this conversation is going weird places. All right, and I want to get fucked by food let's, fight. Let's, let's get out the theater, huh? That's why I stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, so you at least I can do it without people watching. So you watched Mario on streaming services. Did you uh, did you get a 4K option? Uh, yeah. since, since you have a fancy TV. Oh yeah, it, 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 it looks it looks great. Fantastic. I get a casual watch it in, like you know. You you cut off there. What happened? Did I lose you on Discord? Hello. No, Hello, are you still I, there? I just I just watched the movie. I mean, I, I didn't get. Any, oh okay. I just yeah. I'm trying to think of some other films I've recently seen. Not too many. Maybe I should watch the best Marvel movie ever. Morbius. Ant-Man 2. And Morbius, yes. That's not an MCU movie. That's a, that, that's a Sony movie. Hey, it's got Marvel characters in it. I'm gonna watch Morbius. Best film of all time. It's Morbin time. Can I tell you how amazing it is to hear that people legitimately thought it's Morbin time was in the film, but it was just some shit poster's fan dub? I had a, I had a ten minute, you know, uh, thought that maybe that was true. I was like, did he really say it's Morbin time? It's Morbin time? Is that- is, is that- that can't be real. It can't be real. Is it real? It's an elaborate shit post, and what a shit post it was. Holy cow. Well, hey, anything to get, uh, the, the movie in the zeitgeist of society to make it relevant, so that way when they make a sequel and he shows up, people are like, Oh, I will buy things attuned to that character and support it financially going forward in my life to give me pleasing moments in entertainment and media. You know what film I kind of feel sorry for nowadays? What? Elemental. I haven't seen that. It's not doing movie. hot. You see, I, uh... You, 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 you ever seen Onward? No, because that one looked like crap, too. It, it did, and I think that's kind of what, uh, what kind of burned me out on Pixar movies. I, could, I tried to watch that thing three times, and I can't get through, like, the first half of it. It's just so boring, I don't care! Yeah, I haven't watched a Pixar movie in a very long time. Last one I watched through your recommendation was Turning Red. Yeah, I, I love Turning Red. I thought it was formulaic. Formula- how? As in, I was able to predict what was going to happen before it happened an hour into the film. You're watching a Disney movie, what do you expect? Subversion? I, I expect Pixar to have something more. I think you were expecting something different from the movie, man. Oh, no, oh, I kind of figured it was going to be about the topic it set out to talk about. What was the topic, then? Growing up. And try <laughs> trying to be your own person. It's also, like, between a mother and daughter, clearly. Yeah, she doesn't want to be her mom, and her mom didn't want to be her mom. How do they get past that? It's all about generational trauma. Nice. I mean, I didn't. It was alright. Oh, whatever. Didn't, like, blow me away. Not like I'm going to, you know, uh, take up my Christmas list for this or anything. <laughs> but I'm just gonna say, I preemptively have something that I forgot about. <laughs> and, uh, and I can't give you Christmas gifts this year. <laughs> Just thinking, oh, I can't wait for the one sided advent calendar. All the gifts go to me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do a Kwanzaa calendar instead. <laughs> I only have seven games, but that's it, that's, no, that's, all right, that's okay. That's all right. Honestly, that would be kind of a good mix up. Like, if we're five years into doing the advent calendar special, it's just like, hey, it's Kwanzaa this year, but maybe we'll save that for when we're really running out of ideas. But that's impossible, right? There's so many things that we could that we could play for the advent calendar. There's no way we could run out of things so easily. Are you saying that because you're out of ideas? No. No. <laughs> my my list is I mean I I, I I missed it so many times, but uh we are now like over halfway done with uh with the Clubhouse games. Which means half of the year is gone. Yeah, that's right. So that's cool. Isn't it? I gotta start uh, zeroing I Oh, I guess we could dedicate this time to people who have uh, sat hey. around this long as we do one more round. Yeah, sure. Maybe talk about the advent calendar a little bit. As I'm we, definitely as we, losing. We reach, but... As we uh, rocketed past the halfway Damn point, it. but that's okay. There's a rest stop up here. We can take a second. <sighs> we'll, t we'll uh, talk about the advent calendar because uh, mine, <laughs> mine is uh, 
<laughs> the o I only have two things confirmed, nailed down, no moving them so far. I've got all but one. You've got all but one? Mm hmm See, I'm, I'm still waiting a few, like, you know, uh, a few more weeks to, you know, uh, solidify everything. But, uh, the last one, I finally got working. I fi- I fi like, I, I had a problem with it, uh -oh. and I fixed it. Oh, good. And now... I'm we're there. We're, we're there. We're, we're there, man. So, we're not gonna spoil, but there is an extra little surprise for this one. Yeah, this we, one in particular. We have we have 25 days in our advent calendar, because of course we gotta give you a Christmas gift, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, it's well, just, that, just right. that was going to be the secret, but, uh, you know. What, that there's that, what, that we got a Chris- it's all leading up to a Christmas special at the end? I mean, it's- it's- it's your big thing, eh, you know? <laughs> We don't know what it is, yo. I mean, I, I don't think know the what best it is. thing is what you called. Pre that's. The, I mean, were, were, were you I, calling? I, I, you had a special name for present twenty four, and I think that's a better surprise. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> of of course, uh, just like last year, it all leads up to, you to know, something to to you know a big a big like you know grand finish for for the both of us and. Uh, <laughs> Well, uh, he's got something planned for for uh, I Christmas. Do. I, 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 do. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna call it the a Christmas special. A Christmas gift. UDJ yes. Christmas special. You know, yep. UDJ Nisco Christmas special. 2020. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's all I know about it. Be great. And uh, the one I have is uh, I'm gonna call it the Krampus, Krampus special. <laughs> it is the Krampus special. That is one of the best names I've ever heard. The Krampus special. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Because. It, it's never the plan to actually get, like, a bunch of shitty games and just torture each other with them. It's honestly a way for, to experience each other's game collection. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there's some real stinkers that show up, <laughs> and if you watch the last Advent Calendar, you know exactly which ones they are. Especially if we threw up a big hubbub about it. Like, I still think Seven Samurai is one of the funniest episodes out of that, because it is literally just me reading the instruction manual and you going off. <laughs> It is so goddamn funny. And then, of course, I'll give myself a shout-out with Senran Kagura Peach Ball. Good lord. Yeah, yeah, well... I, I was even sick during that episode, and it made it funnier. Well, uh, I got I got some interesting stuff, and I, I gotta say, it's one of the most exciting things about uh, doing this stuff with you, and... I can't wait until December, and I can't wait until next week, where we're doing, uh, mm -hmm. something or other. It's, 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 uh, it's takoyaki! Takoyaki! Oh, this is great! Alright, you, you take the cards, I'll take the takoyaki. No, I want the talk. What, what what is what the hell is this? This is another card game. I'm not gonna. Understand. It's a flip card game. It's a flip card. Game. Oh, it's it's a fun card game. You're gonna like this one. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm glad we could come into agreement after ten rounds of war. <laughs> so here, let's let's shake on it. No All more right. war. No no more war. All this peace. Peace. Let's enjoy some takoyaki as a reward. All right. So let's. Uh, but I still got to declare war though. How about, war, how about war on the octopi so we can make the takoyaki to have, oh. to have what, we're, what we're playing takoyaki? Those octopi are going down! Oh, yeah. And we'll go to takoyaki bell. <laughs> Dong!